For Mashable, I'm Adam Polk. Apple, who posted a quarterly revenue of $39 billion in its second quarter, is in the giving mood. Or rather, a patent reveals the company could be giving you the option to gift. Here's the patents courtesy of Patently Apple. They explain the process between the iGifter and the giftee. One way to give is using NFC, which iDevices don't currently have. Or for the less mobile conscious gifters, you could transfer via email. Every gift could also be delivered with your own custom voice memo slash singing telegram and a personal image. The gifter would only be charged for the song once the giftee chooses to download it. Oddly enough, Apple's thought of everything for this patent, including if the gifter doesn't have enough funds, the giftee could choose to pick up the bill, which sort of defeats the purpose. Hey, here's a gift, now pay for it. No matter who's paying, the patent shows Apple really thinks you can't go wrong with a gift of Brian Adams' greatest hit, Everything I Do. Apple will also allow users to share iTunes playlists at a to-be-determined cost. This might finally get us back to the days when we could make mixtapes for friends. Normally, Apple keeps every purchase song on lockdown, so maybe loosening its belt is a sign of goodwill or another trick to wean the nation off music piracy. Not sure who to send a gift to? Try these. Gifting international love to the UN, gifting call me maybe to that ex you haven't spoken to in two years, or gifting rolling in the deep to a friend that just won the lottery. So what song would you gift? For Mashable, I'm Adam Paul.